Greetings fellow adventurers. We are at the Museum of Art and Science in Daytona. So we're gonna first go through the uh, Gale, I don't wanna say the name wrong, so we're gonna say Gale Wing. That's, that's what we're gonna call it because I can't, I can't pronounce names correctly. So we are here to to discover another section of this building, but while we're here, we have the uh, Mary Louise Gallery, which we have seen pictures of. Um, we have the crossbow. We have all the swords right here. The swords are wonderful, beautiful. So the reason we come here is this is the stuff we leave behind. Let me see some guy in a, in a reflection over here. Got the uh, flintlock pistols. Actual flintlock pistols. Uh, flintlock uh, shotguns. Uh, flintlock, uh, flint, flintlock uh, double barrels. Those are double barrels. Sorry about the reflection, guys. I do apologize. You see some reflections and stuff like that. I cannot use my light. I will not use my light. I will not use it. So we have all the flint lock. We have some painting. Right here. So hang on. Is that better guys? Can you see more? No? But there's the armor. There's the armor. There's a painting right here. We have some swords. We're just gonna go through the museum. The really big broad sword. I'm, I'm gonna guess that's what that is. And here's the other side of the... Uh... Oh, we got something going on over here. We, we, we've got some graphic art over here. We're good. We, we've been distracted. We have been distracted. So we see, as we, I'm trying to get, keep it as steady as possible. There you go. Look at this, guys. We're gonna walk under it or around, around it. As we see like, we're gonna get a whole scope of this. The art, the art, the hanging art. colors and stuff like that in it. You see the, uh... it's an echo room. Hello. How are you? I asked you first. That's really mature saying exactly what I'm saying. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh... This is really pretty, guys. It's really pretty. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. Sometimes I have to do one-handed stuff every so often. So we have all the beautiful art on the walls. I really like this one, guys. I really like that. I really, really like that. So as we continue this way, We see more art as we, oh, oh. oh yeah, the children's museum. The part where we can go have fun. You guys wanna go have fun? You guys wanna go play with stuff? It says no running. Okay, let's go. 
Okay, let's go. I hear kids in here. I hear somebody having fun. Somebody's having fun without me. Oh, it's a harp. Oh, oh, people are having fun without me. So what is it? Let's see. Oh, it's a raceway. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. So you kids can come in here and play with the little electric cars. That's actually really cool. We're gonna see him come around the corner. There he comes. There you go. That's really cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. So you can take the cars from over here. You take these cars right here, right there, and you put it with these controllers and you can race around. That's actually really cool. We have some boxes to play in. We have make your own roller coaster over there. This is for the fun spot. This is a... Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. Count the wheels. We have a little... Oh, about the bees making honey, guys. The bees making honey and it's a honeycomb. I really like the honeycomb. We've got a bee suit over here. And some beehive. And a bee box. And as we circle around, we go uh, over here to the batting cage. There's a batting cage over here, which is kind of cool. And then let's see. We got some something that makes shadows. We have a giant kaleidoscope. A giant kaleidoscope, guys. That's really cool. And it's light. We have shells on the wall. Hey guys, how's it going? You keep on seeing me in the videos. You guys don't always get to see me, but we got microscopes. I'm not. Oh, voltage. Oh, that's really cool. And we have the, uh, of course, the. The coin drop. The coin drop. All right. <laughs> Oh, we got a penny press. All right, we're still in the uh, kids section. We have a skeleton. We have a, uh, not sure what that is, x-rays. Test your airship, fly your airship. Not working. 
working very well. <laughs> we got some spinners, mine spinners. All right, so we're done with the uh, the kid the kid museum. We're just gonna go across to the Cuban gallery. That's what we're gonna go across to. We have the painting. Um, I thought I saw one of these in the house we went to go explore. There's a little intricate, real intricate. It's a little drawers and okay, like that something, something like that in your house, just hanging around. We got a statue. We got the. Uh, here. Sorry guys. I will unfocus and then so we got another one over here. This one's really pretty. That's real good stuff. It has the key still in it. You can see the key. But I wanted to show you the intricacy. Of, the, of it, the paintings, the paintings. I think that's St. Augustine up there. And behind us is a sugar mill. It is what a miniature version of the sugar mill. So you get to see basically all of the sugar mill. how it works, the gears, the cogs. You know how I got, how I like miniatures. I really do. Miniatures are awesome. So as we walk around the miniature, that way we can see both sides of it. I almost wish it worked. <laughs> I almost wish it worked. So we got a desk where you would hand roll tobacco cigars. Tobacco cigars. Leaf tobacco cigars. We got the paintings. All the artwork is beautiful. We have some cows and a camel. And some real weird art just hanging around. We came here for a specific reason, but while we are here, we're going to explore, pretty much try to explore all of this building that we can. So as we continue further, further this way, <coughs> we are at the uh, Thurman Gallery, where it looks like it's from Africa. We got some African stuff. There's a bull. Looks like a mask. That looks like some some delicate stuff here. Some more masks. I think they're made of wood. You thought wearing our our masks was bad. How would you like to wear one of these? Would you like to wear one of those guys? You don't like to wear one of these masks? How about one of those? Talk about not being able to see somebody. I'm not sure what those are. I'm really not sure. I know that says what they are. We have a shield way up there. And look, we have stools. We have a cart of stools. <laughs> Can 
Katie dids. That's what those are. Those are Katie dids. There's a shark. Brings a whole new name to fishnet now, doesn't it? And we have this. Choose all that apply. I am, you are, we all are, insane. <laughs> I really like that. How about that, guys? Do you like that? And it flashes sane, insane. <laughs> so we'll go to the prehistory. And look, guys, bugs. I know how you guys like bugs. Who likes bugs? I like bugs. I actually do like bugs. One of my favorite bugs is the praying mantis. It's one of my favorite. And then we have butterflies. And butterflies. And then our famous alligator skull. Because we're in Florida. So you gotta have one of those. And you gotta have one of these. Gotta have some shark's teeth because we live right by the beach. And look, a trilobite. Trilobite. <laughs> you guys are probably wondering how I know all this. Don't worry, Cactus has his secrets. So we have a giant armadillo, which is a prehistoric armadillo. The prehistoric armadillo. And then we got the uh, uh, the bird, or what was a bird? Huh. We got a a skull, the dinosaur skull, and the bones. And there's something behind you guys. So this is a giant sloth. Uh, a lot bigger than our normal sloths that we have. But this is a giant one. It's got to be. I'm six foot tall, so it's probably eight to ten feet tall. Uh, it's got to be, it's got to be pretty significant size right here. I mean, this thing's huge. I mean, I gotta kind of point up, and then we have the mammoth jaw and a uh, pieces of a woolly mammoth, pieces and parts. And then we have some more skulls over here. We have the uh, the giant get eaten by that guys. And I'm not sure. I can't read that. I can't. It's an elephant. So we're gonna continue to our final destination. I'll get to you when we get there. All right, guys. So we're going into the furniture section of the museum. This is what we call the uh, furniture room. <laughs> it's where they stuck all the furniture. So let's see, there's... Uh, don't ask me what any of this stuff is, guys, okay? I know what the chairs are. Those are chairs. <laughs> Those are dressers. I think that's a writing desk. Another drawer. The mirror is a little dirty. <laughs> so as we circle through, I'm going to show you something, guys. You've seen a picture of this, but you probably haven't seen it up and close. So it's a Warchester, and it's beautiful, and you dare not touch it. Dare not touch one of those, but that. Beautiful piano. Beautiful. 
the intricacy of it. So we have a stained glass, uh, stained glass. Now you got the, the facial recognition popping up. I have facial recognition because of the paintings. The paintings will do it. Dude, and popping up right there. Y'all can't see it, but I can. So. That's a, that's a big piece of furniture. So as we continue on, uh, we're gonna continue through the through the museum as we go to trinkets. Trinkets made out of like clay or pottery or some sort. That's a cardboard truck. That's actually pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. Well, we got the uh, room of, of stuff over here. There's a lot in here to see, guys. There's a lot in here to see. Got Frankenstein right there. We got some roller skates made out of cardboard. Roller skates made out of cardboard. Cool. Look at anglerfish. Anglerfish. We got rockets. Like a dog. A dog. And we have a bird. Oh, it's a bird. So that's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a bird. So we will continue this way as we go to the uh, Chinese art, and then we gotta go backwards. <laughs> and we gotta move backwards. We're we're, we're moving around the museum in a weird way. So we got really pretty stuff in here, guys. Of course, we have this, this banner above. And we have all the Buddha. Roof tile with guardian on it. So the roof tiles, these have had guardians. We had, uh, I can't pronounce that. But there you go, I can't pronounce it. You guys know I'm not good at pronunciation. Ah, uh, here you go guys. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. There you go, there, you can see it now. Really pretty. That way you guys can see it. And let me fix it. There you go, you can... I remember I have to fix my focus every so often, so I do apologize. Got the camels. Alright, we gotta go backwards, I think. I think we gotta go backwards. We gotta go backwards, guys, so see you in a second. Alright, guys, we are in the furniture room behind glass. All the furniture is behind glass, so you can't touch it. But that is really pretty. So I'll try to show you as much as I can behind the glass. <laughs> But everything, every little bit, is behind glass. But there's a lot back there. There's a lot back there. There's George Washington right over there. You see him back there? He's back there. See him? He's right there. He's... Right there he is. There he is! <laughs> there he is. He's back there. And as we go across the glass I really kind of a shame that we can't get closer to them we have eagles we have an owl 
I have a riding horse. There's so much stuff just behind this glass. I mean, y'all see the front, but I mean, look at that. <sighs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff just, just piled in there. <sighs> All the stuff that they probably have found or been brought or something, I don't know. I don't know how you get all this stuff in here. I mean, all this glass. All the glass, guys. Look at these vases. These vases are really shiny. They might have mercury on them. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how something like that would do, would have been made. So don't ask. Don't ask. Cactus knows a little. Oh, look at that. If you can, guys can see that one back there. Let's see that one right there. There you go. Well, it's not as good, but. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is, this is unspeakable. Just all the furniture, Ventrolas are back here. Uh, Ventrolas, what used to play records. We have military memorabilia, all right here. Captain Cactus likes the memorabilia. We have the like a dancing lady and as we continue another beautiful chandelier guys there's one in the other room I forgot to show you but we have a stained glass window that's being illuminated that way you can that way you guys can see it you know this pillar Lots of stuff. I can't cover everything inside, but you guys will. I'm trying to cover everything, guys, for just for you. The crystal. The crystal. Trying to get everything I can through this through this journey. Really colorful clock. There you go. And then back over here. There you go. That way you guys can see the clocks. The grandfather clock. And then we have a clock with a thermostat on it. So many clocks. So many clocks. It's beautiful though. Really pretty. We have all the ornate vases, cups, a little beetle bug. And that's actual silverware. That's actually silver. All sterling silver right here. <sighs> All right. We have a lot of stuff over here, guys. If I didn't get everything, I apologize. But we are going to go to our final destination. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, we have found something on the floor. We found carpets and stuff. Carpet, carpeted art. Oh, they're mosaics. Can I step on this? Am, am I allowed? I don't think I'm allowed to. It's a mosaic, guys. That's really cool. All of these are, actually. All of these are mosaics. Little stones, I think they are. 
Maybe not that one. Not that one. Cafe Caliente. Juliana. Juliana. La Mia. La Mia. I think that's love or family. Um, Anas Doros de Me Madre. I'm completely destroying that language. I apologize, guys. Mama Luna, Papa Luna. That one I know. So, so Dad Moon and Mother Moon. Um, C is yes. That that one I know. Um, if I mispronounced anything, please forgive me. I'm English. I I, I can't Latin lovers. Amore, amore. So this must be Latin, uh, not Latin, um, Spanish, Spanish, because a lot of stuff in here is is Spanish. No importo la cuajagas. No buscas, no veas. I can't read any of that. That's Spanish. Okay, so. We have a hallway of, of artwork. And we shall head towards our final destination over here. It's over there. Yeah, it's over there, guys. So as we walk through, we have paintings. This way I'm not skipping, trying not to skip anything, guys. I'm trying not to skip anything. All right, so I'll see you at my other destination. So we are in the other section where umbrellas with art on them are on the wall. I have a lot of colorful, a lot of umbrellas. The umbrellas are really pretty. I apologize if you can't see all of them or if I'm going too fast. You know, I have some behind me as well. So I'll have to probably do a circle. Probably do a circle. So there's some hanging above us. There's some on the wall. There's more hanging above us. We're going to go through this one. It's an auditorium. Oh, sounds like rain. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like rain in there. All the beautiful umbrellas over here. Umbrellas. Umbrellas. Try to go real slow for you guys. Real slow. Alright, so we have found yet another piano. Find yet another one. What's this one say? Oh, it doesn't say anything. I can't tell what it is. Alright, so we have the <laughs> Lincoln Continental. Original Lincoln Continental. As we circle the, the giant car that we have. So Lincoln. Now well, that's an original Lincoln, guys. And it still has the key in it. As we circle around. Birthplace of Coca-Cola. And we have Coca-Cola coming around here. We have the Coca-Cola room. This is what we call this, the Coca-Cola. Hey look guys, it's a Ford. Coca-Cola bottles. They haven't had bottles in a long time, guys. There's a Coca-Cola bicycle. 
And then five cents. How do you like that? You want a five cent Coke? And then look, all the bottles on the bottle car. All the bottles on the bottle car. And there's the Ford Model T, I believe it is. A or T or whatever it is. And now, hey dad, look what I found. A race car. I have found a race car. And I found a little race car. A little race car. And another one. I have found the race cars for you, dad. I found the race cars. The Summer Special. Chapman S. Roots. Summer Special. And they have Summer Speed Equipment. Uh, the jumpsuits. Sorry guys. The jumpsuits are in the back. Which is really, really cool. They have the jumpsuits. And as I turn around, we'll have to go from this way. So this is what they used to use to make soda. Coca-Cola. Soda. Pop. Um, whatever you want to call it. It looks kind of like a moonshine distillery. But it's made for making soda. Or pop. Or whatever you want to call it. Automatic bottling machine. See? I probably use the same idea to make beer. Um... More than likely, more than likely use this, this kind of equipment to, to use for, oh look, it's a nice chest. <laughs> and all the old signs behind us, I mean this is a collection. See, the, the, you don't see those anymore with the bottle opener, where you had to open the bottle in that little, in this little slot right here. <laughs> See, bottle opener, bottle opener, that's when you actually had to buy, open the bottles with a actual bottle opener you couldn't twist. <laughs> and they were really sealed, 25 cent, wow, 25 cent guys, what are they now, two dollars, two dollars for a bottle of coke? Ventrilator, <laughs> and then this one's like a, I mean all of them, every single one of them are, are as old as 10 cents, 10 cents. Look, this one still has a, a cup in it that says drink Coca-Cola. See, there's a little, there's a little cup in there. <laughs> but everything, everything is Coke. Everything is Coca Cola. And we have the giant Coke bottles right here. And we have the slow, the slow school zone guy. Hey, guy. How's it going? <laughs> so we have reached the part of the museum where I do not like. And I'm fixing to let you guys share my dread. Because I have to do this properly. And you guys will share my dread here in a second. So I'll be with you guys here in a few. Alright guys. Now I usually don't point the camera at me. Unless there's something over there that I want you to see. And I don't want you to see it just yet. So I want to I wanna do a small introduction of, hi, my name's Cactus, and this is what we call the backroom bears. And you're going to share my dread here in a second.
you guys are probably wondering why these are behind glass. Well, there's probably two reasons they're behind glass. And there's one reason. Hello? Are you here with me? I see you. I can see you with this if you are here with me. This device allows me to see you. Yep, I see you down there too. Well, hello. Hello, guys. Let's see, we also have a giant like house. A giant house. I swear, dude. Don't move. You guys move, I swear to God. Hey guys, so they're behind glass for a reason. The reason when they're behind glasses, I think there's something attached to them. I think there's something attached to these bears. Where's my buddy? I don't see my buddy in here today. I don't see him this one. This one's kind of, kind of weird. Where's my buddy? I came all the way back here. There he is. Hey, buddy. I came back to see you. The one with the camera in his hand. Yep, I came back just to see you. This is, if you guys are sharing my dread right now, this is why. I'm always afraid one of these things is going to move. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a picture of my buddy real quick. All right, so we'll f we will finish off the uh, the back room bears with with this. So that those are the back room bears, and the only reason I'm as I said I kind of am timid of them because I'm afraid they're gonna move. But we have all these quilts. So, Dad, if you're next to Miss Pam, Miss Pam, how about some quilts? And Mom, hey Mom, how about some quilts? Some beautiful, I'm not sure they're, they're quilts or blankets. Not entirely... Uh, privy on all that, but um, this way you can see all of them, I think. I think that's all of them. And okay, so some more Coca Cola stuff. This is what we call the Coca Cola room. Uh, the room of coca-cola because we even have an employee shirt now that's cool an employee shirt <laughs> things go better with coke <sighs> and we have the the temperature gauges the thermostats I wish they had a clock. Hey, look, a clock. A clock radio at that. And a walkie-talkie. A cassette tape. Let's see. There's a record. There's a reel-to-reel. -reel. Nobody knows what a reel-to-reel -reel is anymore. We have some games. We have some games, guys. Some games. Like Coca-Cola playing cards. And the Coca-Cola thing up here. How much of this Coca-Cola stuff do we have? Oh, all of it. Hey, look, it's a Coca-Cola R2 unit. 
<laughs> R2D2 Coca-Cola. Okay. And then we get to the clocks. The clocks. We also have refreshing and ongoing Coca-Cola. Like, oh man, that's ceramic. So, as we circle around, I don't want to show you that yet. So I have to show you the floor. We have... Oh, that's for film. It's a Remington typewriter. A scale. Now we can go up. So we got the drugs. Shaving cream. Oh man, this is corn removal. Dental cream. And this... This is what they would have at the stores. This is like a little storefront. And look guys, cameras. You see the cameras? Can you see the cameras? You can kind of see them. Oh, we got a little... Oops. We got a... A till and who's that crazy guy right there? We also have the soda shop. Or a drugstore. The drugstore, I should say. And as we get closer... So we got Donald Duck straws. Got uh, just all sorts of stuff. All castor oil, toothpaste, Epsom salt, Coca-Cola syrup, which is that that stuff right there. We also have. I don't want to read all that, so I'm just going to show it to you. There's cactus in there. Caucus cacti. Which, I'm not really sure what that means. Oh, my battery's going. My battery! Oh no, guys. My battery's dying. Something's draining my battery. <sighs> There you go. A little bit better. And then the soda shop. And I gotta show you guys what I've been waiting to show you guys here in a second. So I'll show you all this and then we'll get over there. Alright guys, we are back. We have come to the trains. This is our last stop of the uh, museum. I want to show you as much as possible. Show you as much as this train as possible. And it's called the Silver Holly. They got some train sounds going on. Oh, we got a little bunk. Got a little bunk. I've never stayed on a train. I've never ridden a train before. Got the lights in there. Got another little bunk. And a little toilet that you can see. Another little bunk with the pictures. And we can kind of walk on to here look inside and then we're gonna go see the other one guys and I believe this one is a bullet train because it's sleek look I believe it is a bullet train so as we walk up we see all the the chairs the wrap around the executive seats right here. Sorry about the glare, guys. I'm going to try to go as slow as I can, but my battery is dying. So we're going to go slow and fast. This is the Hiawatha Skytop Lounge Car. Okay. 
and it's just a it's, it's a speed liner so it's like a bullet train we got some sounds going on down here and we'll go see there's the toilet there's a little hideaway back here and we'll go downstairs that way we can walk through them hopefully before my my train dies or my phone dies so this is the outside of the uh the milwaukee this way you can see down below and then this is down below of the silver holly there there you go the silver holly it's a beautiful train it's really really pretty and it says the name on it right here Hiawatha so it's probably like Japanese or Indian or something but that is those are the trains and this is why I came here so Without further ado, my name's Cactus. This is the Museum of Art and Science. Hi, too. And before I leave, I will show you the collection of Coca-Cola soda bottles. Pop bottles. We'll go along the top. I know there's a lot, guys. There's, there's just a lot there. The different colors, purple, blue, clear, green, probably because of how they aged, probably wasn't the original colors of them. But I want to show you all, all of the Coca-Cola bottles before I left. Alright guys.